Okay, tonight we are going to continue our study on the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. And the scripture we'll be reading from is from the Gospel of John, the 14th chapter, verse 17. And that reads, Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. And we also want to read in the same chapter, verse 6, John 14, 6. And Jesus saith unto them, I am the way, I am the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And I also want to go to John 18, 37. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. And I forgot one scripture in chapter 14. comes from verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. And I want to read one more. It comes from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 10. And all and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they may be saved. For this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his precious word. <clears throat> How precious is truth today in our lives? We base our decisions on what we believe is truth. And we know in the world today, and we see it all over the TV, there's a lot of fake news, which is not the truth. We see deception in so many areas of our life. And in this world that we live in, though it's, a, it's hard for us always to sift through to find out what really is truth. Just because somebody writes a book, or how about this, uh, how do you know that's true? Well, I saw it on the internet. And, I, and how many of us know that what we see on the internet, or on YouTube, or on social media, isn't always the truth? Just because somebody writes a book doesn't mean it's true. And see, God, Jesus Christ came. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He came to bear witness to the truth. When he ascended to heaven, he sent the spirit of truth to bear witness to the truth, to reveal the truth to the world, Jesus Christ. That same Holy Spirit who we read about dwells within us, the third person of the Trinity. God himself wants to dwell within you to reveal the truth to each and every one of us, that we might have the truth and not believe a lie. Adam and Eve fell in the Garden of Eden because they believed they have truth. And the one thing we have to remember about the enemy of our soul is he deals with half-truths. I remember years ago when I became a Christian, my brother, when we were talking, he said, well, Christianity is a crutch. And God helps those who help themselves. Amen. Well, that's nowhere in the scripture that God helps those who help themselves. That's something that somebody makes up. And I believe we all have to do our part. 
but there are different things like this in our world today that we have to take notice of. <coughs> because it's very important for each of us to understand what truth is and what God is saying to each of us in the light of that truth. I remember when I first became a Christian for the first time, that God shed a light within my life, the light of life, that truth of himself, and exposed the darkness, the untruths of my life. Things that I thought were true, I began to understand and realize because you heard me read how he will teach us all things. He began to strip me down of all the untruths, of all the phoniness in my life. Things that I believed were right and true that weren't true. He dealt with the alcohol in my life. He dealt with the premarital sex in my life. Showed me that it was against his law to have premarital sex. And as he began to expose these different areas of my life, I had to make a decision. He exposed the use of marijuana in my life and how it was hurting my life. And as I as he began as he began to uncover all these different areas of my life, the deception. I began to understand or realize that his ways were not my ways. And that my ways, <laughs> the things that I was practicing, was leading me to destruction. And his ways were going to lead me to life. Because as I responded to each of those times that he began to expose, my life began to improve each and every time that I responded in a, in a, in a favorable way. We see in a world that we live in today that our world is based on his laws. We have his natural laws. The sun comes up in the morning and sets in the evening. Creation. Nature itself. Read about it in Genesis. Where he created the earth and the universe that we live in. And set it in order. Our social laws are based on his laws, the truth. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Our justice system is based on the truth. The spiritual laws that are in place are based on the truth. For every time that we break those laws, there's a repercussion in our lives. That's why some of us suffer so much, is because we don't have the knowledge of the truth. We're basing our decisions on a half-truth or a lie. And when we take that action, we suffer for it. We wonder where our peace went. We wonder where our joy is. It's because we're not focused or we're not listening or we're not aware of the truth of what God would have for us in these different situations because society has a whole different rule book out there. In case, if you never read the Bible, you're not going to know. And see, the Lord would want to bring us into health and abundant life and deal with these different situations in each of our lives. And what is truth? When you look at it, it's, and I'll read it. It's in accordance with fact or reality. It's verifiable and accurate, honest, free of deceit. And in the world that we live in, we can get carried away with all kinds of different things that are not true. And we have to be careful. Because each time 
that we do something that is not based on a fact or on reality, we're fooling ourselves. And that's the beauty about the Lord is he brings us into reality if we're willing to receive it. You heard me read about there's a group of people out there that do not love the truth. They like to lie. And they will lie on you. We see it, we hear it all over the TVs and in different aspects of our society. There are people that are lying in order to achieve a certain end and it's not based on the truth. But oh, how wonderful and how gracious the Lord is for sending us the Holy Spirit to sift through it all. Because when you receive the Holy Spirit in your life, the power of God, there's a reality that comes upon you. He not only deals with the reality of you and exposes all your and my phoniness to be able to deal with the reality of who we really are so that we can fix the problem or problems and, and walk into an abundant life. He does that because he loves us. But he also gives us to bear witness to the truth that's out there. And we have that truth. He gives uses it for our direction, to base our decisions on our future, the preciousness <coughs> of the truth. Don't you love it when someone is truthful with you? Yes. Bluntly truthful. Because it helps you. Especially when they do it in a way and love. <coughs> and they're not blowing smoke at you. <coughs> they're not just a fair weather friend. Because there's a lot of those out there too. Oh, I'm your friend. Until trouble comes. And then where are they? Or until you need help, where do they go? But while things are flourishing, oh, I'm your friend. And God exposes all these dip, the darkness, the, <coughs> these different situations in our life to show us who our true friends are and who we can really, truly rely on. Because he loves you. And he brings us that spirit of truth in this world where we live right now to dwell with inside of us so that we can bear witness for all those reasons. To have a better life and to be a blessing to others. We have that opportunity. There's a lot of people that are hiding from the truth. It happened from Adam and Eve in the garden. Remember when they sinned and they had shame? What did they do? They gathered fig leaves because they realized they were naked. And they hid from the truth. God will come and he'll expose it for your benefit. So you can base your decisions on reality. Now, there may be some of us here, maybe you need the spirit of truth in your life. Maybe you've never experienced it. But you can have it. It only comes from one source. There's one source of truth. And that's Jesus Christ himself. He's the author of truth. He's the way. He's the truth and the life. That's why we can base our lives on his word, which is truth and life. That's what makes the Bible so amazing, is every word in here has been proven to be true. Hundreds of prophecies that came true. Many more that still have to be true. It's the only book 
of truth that you'll find that you can base your life on. I can tell you that it's true that this anointing bottle is sitting on the altar. And it's true. It's reality. It's accurate. But now it isn't. Because now it's in my hand. Jesus' words are infallible truths. They don't come back void. God is unchanging. That's how you find truth. There's three elements that are involved when you're seeking truth. You're seeking truth in a ministry or in a church. It's in tradition because God does not change. It's based on the word of God. According to the Bible. And there's magisterium, which means there's signs and wonders. Because signs and wonders follow those that believe. Truth. You go out there and, there and you're being taught something that's not in this word, run. Someone's trying to pull something. And you've heard them. There's false prophets and there's false teachers out there. And we need to be savvy to that. Jesus wanted you to be savvy. He, he warned us about it. <coughs> Seek the truth. Seek Jesus. And ask the Holy Spirit tonight. And let's just take a moment. If there's anyone in this room, maybe you've never asked the Holy Spirit to come upon you. The Spirit of truth. Maybe you've never encountered God's spirit within you. And you want the truth. You want to know what the truth is. With every eye closed, just take a moment. Jesus Christ is the only one that can give you the Holy Spirit. He's the spirit of truth. He's the third person of the Trinity. God himself. And we pray, Lord Jesus, we need the truth. We need your spirit within us. And we ask each of us, Lord, to fill us with your Holy Ghost today. Fill us with your power from on high. And Lord, that we may be filled, that you may abide within our hearts and fill us with that power from on high. that we may bless you, that we may be a witness for you, that we may know the truth because the truth will set you free. Lord, we just ask today, that we're open to receive your truth. For we ask all these things, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.